Well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to Friday's edition of Take 5. It's been a good week, hasn't it? You know, we've been learning about these hindrances that keep us from hearing the voice of God. Now what we've got to do is we've got to take the initiative to move them out so that we can hear God's voice. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 13 that we don't see because we've shut our eyes. We don't hear because we have shut our ears and we don't understand because that's what we've chosen. So we have to take the initiative to get these hindrances out so that we can clearly hear when God is speaking to us. Now, we've named uh, four things, I believe, already this week that have been hindrances, distractions and busyness. Number two was competing voices. Number three was unprepared hearts. And number four was idols in our heart. We've got two more to do, so let's jump in them uh, into them on this last day of the week. Number five is not having your heart in a neutral position. The fifth thing that will hinder you from hearing, not having your heart in in a neutral position. You know, sometimes we're just absolutely hindered in hearing God's voice because we're not able to accept the answer or whatever it is that he's speaking to us. Having our heart in a neutral position means that we are ready for God to say left or right, yes or no, and we're ready for that. And sometimes we're just not ready for that and we're hindered in hearing God's voice. You know, when you already have your mind made up, this means that you have more than likely made a decision without God or you made a decision of what you thought was God and you're now going in a direction that you expect God to bless even though he never told you to go that way in the first place. that That's not neutrality. That's, that's not having your heart in a neutral position. That's not being prepared to go in whatever direction and go with whatever answer or response God gives you. That's not that. So many times in life we find ourselves making a decision and moving on and then we ask God to bless what we decided to do without him and that's not being in neutral. When your mind and your heart is in a neutral position, that means you sit there and you wait and you are ready and for whatever thing God tells you to do. If he says, go this way, you go this way. If he says, go this way, you go this way. But you don't move until he tells you. And if you decide upon yourself to just take off and go, you're going to be hindered in hearing God because what you're really expecting God to do is bless you and take you and keep you or either get you out of the mess you got into because you chose to take off without asking God and waiting on his voice. You've got to be in a neutral position and you've got to be willing to sit there, stand there, do whatever you have to do and wait until God tells you to go one direction or the other and then you follow him. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21 said, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. There's always going to be a voice regardless of where you are in life that's telling you this is the way to go and that's what we should follow and we can't hear that if our mind and our heart is not in a neutral position waiting on God to give us clear instruction. Number six and the last one for the week, this will most definitely hinder you from hearing God's voice and that is sin and disobedience. Sin and disobedience will harden your heart to a point to where you just absolutely cannot hear the voice of God, especially when this is willful. Now, I know we all blow it from time to time, and we all mess up, and we all make mistakes, and, and we all sin. Ecclesiastes says there is not a person that lives that does not sin. Now, it's hard for some to swallow, but that's just a fact. That that's We all fail. But what we're talking about is willful disobedience and, and willful sin and willful rebellion is what we are talking about. And it will harden you to a place where you don't hear God's voice. Hebrews chapter 3 uh, verses 12 and 13 says, Beware, brothers, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. Exhort one another while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. 
willful sin and disobedience will harden your heart to the voice of God. And when your heart is hard, then you will be hard of hearing. And it's not that you couldn't hear, it's because you wouldn't hear. Let me take you back to where we started this week, Matthew 13. Jesus said, I speak to them in parables because in seeing they do not see, in hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. He said they see, but not really. They hear, but not really. They understand, but not really. In them, the prophecy of Isaiah is fulfilled, which says, hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of this people have grown dull. They've grown hard. They, they're, they've seared their heart because of sin and disobedience. Their ears are hard of hearing. Their eyes, they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and lest they should understand with their hearts and turn so that I should heal them. Jesus said these people have closed their eyes and shut their ears to what he is saying because of the willful sin and disobedience that is in their heart. Right after this is when he taught them. Remember the parable of the sower? And he explained that the ground had to be broken up. That hardened ground was never going to hear the word. It was never going to receive the word. In fact, he said hardened ground, the seeds will just lay there until the birds, that that represents the devil until the devil comes and steals what, what God is trying to say. And in that, you don't hear the war, word of God. You don't hear the voice of God. And you're hindered because of the hardness of your heart because you constantly sin and disobey willfully to what God is telling us. You know, there can be all kinds of things that make believers hard of hearing. Hindrances to hearing the voice of God come in all shapes and sizes. We've stated that numerous times. But it is our responsibility to weed out and to remove anything that would prevent us from hearing what the Spirit is constantly speaking to his people. Well, hey, it's been a good week, and I look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday. Now, next week, we won't have Take 5 because we've got a guest speaker uh, this coming weekend. Evan and Treakin and his family is going to be with us, and we're looking forward to that. So no Take 5 next week. So hey, go back and look at some of the older videos or something uh, like that. But whatever you do, make sure you get the Word of God in your heart. Maybe you want to go back and look at this one and listen to it again and get this in your heart because we know that we don't want to be hindered from hearing the voice of God. Hey, it's been good being with you. I look forward to being with you on Sunday. Have a great weekend, my friend. Hey, trust the Lord. He will never fail you.